Welcome back to Studio 701. A carving pumpkins is a staple when it comes to Halloween, at least in our house it is. Yeah, you are pretty good at it, Jeff. Eh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> something about seeing jack-o'-lanterns flicker at night during spooky season, but before you cut in, you might want to listen in on some tips. Michael checks in with a professional carver. Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to Papa's Pumpkin Patch. I am here with a very interesting gentleman who has lived a life of big service and today he is providing us with a different service. He is a professional pumpkin carver. Everyone, this is Rick Robinson. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon or good morning everyone. What do we got here today, Rick? What, what are we, we going to do here? We have um, several pumpkins that we are going to transform into jack-o'-lanterns. Mm -hmm. uh, by putting a face on them. And you got some tips for us, uh, sure. starting with just cleaning out and preparing the pumpkin. What can you tell us about first? Some of the first cuts are probably the most important cuts. Of course, the first thing you're going to do is take off the top. Mm -hmm. What helps a lot is not only to have the proper angle so that the uh, top doesn't fall into the pumpkin. That's right. But uh, create a notch on the back or, or anywhere. Uh, for example, this one is all over the place. Mm -hmm. But uh, it helps you to put the top back on in the proper location. That's very smart. I know many years I've done this over and over again, trying, trying to, to figure it out. The style of eyes, now for example, mm -hmm. um, if you put a curve on the bottom of the triangle, it makes okay. it into a happy face. Okay, yeah. If you put a curve on the outside, uh -huh. it makes the jack-o'-lantern look like it's worried or scared. Well, let's talk about tools that we're gonna need for our pumpkin carving here today. Okay, what I use is a very narrow-bladed knife. Mm -hmm. um, it helps you get uh, the angles real easy, uh, circular, uh, curved, to clean out the insides, the messy insides, uh, you can put this on a drill and uh, swirl it around in there and it will oh, pull yeah. everything out. Yeah. Um, what I use is just basically a, a very solid spoon mm -hmm. that uh, is about the size of my palm. Okay. Um, and if I was going to carve a lot of jack lanterns and do a lot of cleaning with this, I would probably cut off the handle because I'm always grabbing it like like that oh, okay. and scraping. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, Rick's gonna lead me through this. We're gonna try and make a worried face pumpkin and uh, we'll show you guys the results I have uh, in a second here. Okay, so here's my first attempt at a proper, a proper jack-o'-lantern here. And Rick, tell me, how did I do? You did excellent for uh, your first try. Um, one of the typical things of a, a beginner is the eyes are a little tiny bit small, yeah. and those can always be increased in size after, yeah. you're, after you've completed it. I did notice that you finished out your pumpkin over here, so what did you end up doing to your pumpkin? Well, you can see the size of the uh, piece that I cut out. It's quite large, Yeah. Um, but like we started with yours, start with the nose and then you'll know where the eye placement works best. Yeah. You know, families are doing this, little kids. Uh, people may not have a lot of hand strength. We got sharp tools. What do we, we need were to keep in using mind? Uh, a fairly sharp knife here. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's another example. It's a smaller steak knife. Yeah. Um, these are sharp. The, the good thing is, if you're using a sharp tool like this, is to go a long way in, move it back and forth really quickly, because then you're not pulling it out and maybe mm -hmm. getting your hand stuck again. Go slow. Take your time. If the uh, proportions need to be cut out larger. It's a lot easier to do than the initial cut. Well, Rick, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. Thanks I, for I participating. I appreciate you. Hey, and gentlemen, <laughs> Rick Robinson, nice guy, and I saw Rick's hat over here. I'm going to complete my jack-o'-lantern. See you later. Looks great, Michael. And tomorrow, Natalie is going to show us a safer alternative to dressing up a pumpkin with a special guest named Wilson. Oh. <laughs> we have our Studio 701 <laughs> Pumpkin Carving Contest revealed tomorrow. But stay tuned because next we have our Smile of the Day. And find out who got the right.